Hello. Why do I I I more of a frugal um, euphonium player, euphonium trombone, more euphonium? But anyway, why do I like the cornet? I always I started on the cornet, uh, kind of eighteen years ago, and I was already forty. But I've been playing the saxophone, the clarinet for fifty years, 50, 25 years. Sorry. Um, what I like about the cornet, um, there are two or three things that I prefer as opposed to the trumpet. The first thing is obviously aesthetical. This aesthetical. Uh, this is um, Shepard Crook. I used to uh, play. I play also the American style cornet and have this Crook and this, the 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 bell is a little bit more forward but generally speaking is much more compact than a trumpet so the sound is closer it's closer to use your plunger because it's and everything is close to you is it easier to the body center is uh, is closer to you so it's less taxing on your arms so the first thing is uh, let's say very center thing and it is connected also to the aesthetics that I like better. Second thing is historical. Um, the first trumpet players of jazz were not trumpet players, they were cornet players. So I like the fact that it gives an um, old jazz vibe. So it's easier to play it's more historically accurate if you play all jazz. Um, I mean, Dixieland. Up to the 30s, most people played the cornet rather than the trumpet. Even Louis Armstrong. Every, everybody played the cornet at the beginning. Third thing. Uh, the sound. The sound is, let's say, between a a trumpet and a flugelhorn, I'd say it's closer to a trumpet than to a flugelhorn, but it's m mellower and softer than the trumpet sound, so it's less in your face, it's less bright. Uh, this is not a, a, um, per se a good thing, but it's good for me because I prefer this kind of sound. So, the sound. Fourth thing. Cornet the way I hear it and play it, it are easier to play. What does it mean? Um, to me, it's easier to play high-pitched notes on the cornet and it's easier to have flexibility jumping from a uh, partial to another partial on the cornet. Uh, so, uh, some people say it's the same. I don't know, maybe I find it easier because I play the cornet more often than the trumpet, but I find the trumpet a little more, a little bit, bit more difficult. Uh, fifth thing that I like about the cornet is less common than a trumpet. Everybody Oh, what is that? It's a trumpet. It's okay. It's also a reason to quarrel with people because I don't like people that. Oh, but it's a trumpet. No, it's not a trumpet for the reason I said. The mouthpiece, the the thing that gets inside, we call it Italian pinna, is smaller. So basically, the difference that this instrument is the same length of a trumpet. It's more convoluted, that's why it's shorter, but actually it's narrower here than a trumpet. And that makes the instrument more conical and then gives the instrument this uh, a little bit softer sound. But all in all, all things considered, trumpets and cornet are uh, for the most part interchangeable. Uh, where they are they not interchangeable? Uh, there are some let's say that there are some music musics where uh, trumpets play better 
tell you which music. Uh, music where brightness is required. I'd say salsa, Mexican mariachi music, mariachi music, and big bands. And this uh, kind of this is kind of classical music where every uh, it's required to play the trumpet when the composer played for the trumpet and it's required to play the cornet. It's less common when the comp composer actually composed for a cornet. Actually, you can say cornet or cornet. Cornet is the American pronunciation. Cornet is the British pronunciation. Uh, these are the reasons why also the the um, the case is shorter being the instrument shorter uh, these are the reasons why i prefer by far the cornet but the most expensive instrument i have is a trumpet is a um king because i like harry james i know harry james is Pop is not really jazz for the most part. I do love the can cantabile sound he has. This is my Italian part of me. There are songs where Harry James is. I heard the song before. Uh, Sleepy Lagoon. Lagoon. I don't remember. But it's really um, the nightclub trumpet par excellence. Uh, and luckily, we don't have okay in modern jazz. There was Nat Adderley and Don Cherry. Don Cherry used to play a pocket cornet, not pocket trumpet. So Nat Adderley was the only modern jazz bebop player, hard pop cornet player. I think that Cornet can play modern jazz. I think that the change from cornet to to trumpet uh, it was in the swing era for several reasons. That is the sound uh, that mainly because in big bands maybe trumpets have this brightness that is required for that kind of music but when the the jazz became again a mainly soloist music or combo music means small group music uh for some reason trumpet had already taken over so that's why cornet was not um, common. Uh, other things, oh there are two kinds of cornets, this and the American one, this is the British style. I bought this very inexpensive uh, second-hand uh, Thoman cornet that has a very uh, not expressive tone. It's not bad but it's flat, it doesn't have but um, I liked the this style of a cornet, okay? Um, you can use um, mouthpieces that have a, a quite inside there, like a trumpet mouthpieces, and that gives the instrument a more of a trumpet uh, sound. Uh, for example, I use um, I discovered that it on a euphonium. When I play jazz, I don't like a euphonium mouthpiece. I prefer a trom trombone mouthpiece because I don't need so much mellowness. Mellowness, um, 
so it's like melon. I, I like mellow, not too mellow, and the trombone mouthpiece gives that. When it comes to the, the, the cornet, since the cornet is not per se so mellow, so like a flugelhorn, I don't need an instrument to give extra brightness. I like the the, the original, um, let's say that this instrument is a tad more soft than softer than a trumpet, not so much. So if you use a, a mouthpiece that has a C-shaped cup and you play a certain way, it can be difficult even for a player uh, if you play plays uh, high pitch notes with that mouthpiece, there's not a lot of difference. In the medium low register, there is you can tell. Uh, even let's say that I don't know how to put it, but. Um, these are the reasons why I, I don't have anything against trumpets. Um, I own two, yeah, two. One, the first they gave me two very big three trumpets. One it is more for, yeah, somebody left in my that it's in my house, and that's the that was the, the first instrument I, I started playing, uh, but. I started playing in earnest when I got my first cornet. Uh, also, I have a flugelhorn, a cheap one. So, that's the reason why I prefer the cornet. Um, there is another reason I didn't mention, is tradition. Um, having spent part of my life in England, this is an instrument that they use in marching bands, not the trumpet. So, many, many things made me prefer the, the, the cornet. I, I can actually do I, uh, anything I, I could play on a trumpet, except for the music that I mentioned before, on a cornet. And it's close to my heart. Um, I really, I really uh, have all this reason going for it that uh, it's easier to play, easier to hold in your hands, it's easier to use your mm, mute, it's, um, it's beautiful. I like the sound, I like the shape, and I like the kind of music where Cornet was queen or king? Queen. Uh, like uh, New Orleans jazz. Um, it's. Um, it's what it takes to have this kind of tone. You can play on the trumpet, it's not a big difference, such a big difference. But trumpet lends itself to be played differently. I think uh, the only thing I don't like people who play the cornet too loud and have a metallic um, too brassy sound uh, I I'm not a muscular player I don't play very high uh, I've never been a good player of high pitch notes and being a player of a trombone or euphonium, high pitched, high over their notes is not my forte. I intend to broaden my spectrum of notes, my range, but I will never be what in Italian called acutista, never. On the other side, I'm very good player lower note lower than the B flat here with the uh, with the, the valves 
that's a register that being a trombone player is very I can go down there very easily and most of other over trumpet players or cornet players don't play very often down there and the sound is not round full uh, but everybody has a style okay uh, price wise I think they are the same.